Well, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Aries, this is a little bonus reading for the next solar eclipse. It occurs on the 20th of April this year, and it's when the sun, the moon, and the earth align to create a total hybrid solar eclipse. It's actually the rarest one of all, and it's often called the Ningaloo eclipse, which is an Aboriginal word describing elevated ground or land. And incidentally, Ningaloo Coast in Australia is actually the best place to view it, in particular Exmouth Peninsula. It'll be available to view for about three hours there. However, this time is uh, perfect to align with your higher self and access higher frequencies spiritually. It's perfect also for healing and for manifestation. You may notice that there are subtle changes in your behavior or your emotions, and you may feel a little bit more sensitive than usual. Also take note of pets or wild animals, as you can also see the shift within them during a solar eclipse. You may notice that they act out of sorts or out of character, and you may also notice uh, that they're a little bit more erratic in behavior. Sorry, they really want me to go one more, so I will. Um, now, it will pass quite quickly after the solar eclipse, so don't worry about that. Um, it was also often observed that certain spiders would dismantle their webs during a solar eclipse and rebuild it once the eclipse has passed. So it is important to recognize that these energies do affect us all on different levels, even if they are subtle, okay? Now, I'm just going to go and get all of your cards uh, first, as I said there. Um, also, um, it's worth noting that the alignment between the earth, the sun, and the moon represents a powerful time for healing, as well as dissolving differences and coming together as one, as well as activating our pineal gland for a collective awakening. So there is a powerful shift in terms of humanity during this solar eclipse. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to be bumpy. Eclipses often are very chaotic in their energy, uh, but they do offer major inspiration to overcome obstacles and uh, to um, focus on your goals and dreams but they do leave you drained and also uh, it's worth noting uh, that they fluctuate your moods okay um, now there is also an alignment between uh, Pluto and that can make you feel compelled to detox or transform uh, your body in some way. And by detoxing, I mean, you know, cutting out foods that are no longer good for you, going on a health kick in some way, um, maybe doing some exercise routines that are different from your everyday and also um, getting better sleeping patterns as well. Uh, this time is for transforming your life from the inside out. And um, also I want you to be aware if you're psychically, um, you know, if you had some psychic leanings or you're psychically aware in some way, then it is worth noting that your gifts will be more enhanced during this period, but you probably already know that um, because this is going to be a very charged time uh, psychically for people. The veil will be very, very thin during this time. Uh, now, we do have a new moon that shifts into your sign, my beautiful Aries, um, and uh, let's put it this way. New moons tend to coincide with solar eclipses, but when it's in the sign of Aries, you know, it's extra charged with Mars. So this is about focusing on your goals and putting them into tangible practice. It's about getting stuff done. So you're going to be feeling very, very productive during this period. They want me to go one more. So that's really interesting. 
okay they want one that one um now let's um pop that there for you where's that close that off and get your final cards um so because there is also a second lunation in your sign you're going to feel the influence quite heavily and it is a time of second chances so whether that's in financial opportunities love you know career or just reconnecting to part of yourself that you feel like you've detached from or become disassociated from for quite some time so if you always you know used to go out and connect to your friends in a bar or restaurant but you don't do that so much anymore you may return to that if there's a book that you started but you haven't finished you'll return to that the same with a project you may also uh, do things like hobbies that you used to do um, and you no longer do um, like for example one of mine when I was a teenager I loved going out into my parents car sitting in the car on my own locking the doors and playing music super loud because I was always interrupted in the home space and it's something I found my Myself doing the other day and I thought oh wow that's that's very powerful gotta go get that card um, it's actually a hangman card so I'll get that now in a moment for you uh, but you'll feel the influence of this solar eclipse now even now two weeks before the actual event okay uh, we're moving into Taurus season so that will see things slow down in a very positive way where you connect to more abundance more prosperity and to opportunity I would also say uh, pay close attention to uh, heightened allergies during this time as well as your immune system because there is more potential for you to pick up um, you know a seasonal bug during this time as we shift um, energetically also mercury retrogrades and that's from the 21st of April so just after we leave every season now mercury retrograde can be quite chaotic especially when it comes to electronic devices so you may see things break down around the home space or there may be some electronic glitches the internet pausing stopping causing havoc and um, or you may notice that an email that's really important goes to your spam folder things like that that you really want to pay close attention to so I would say definitely check your spam folder during this period it's very important also if you're sending any important documents through the mail I would send them tracked okay so you don't lose them because this is a perfect time for things to go missing in the mail um, now also I would say because this mercury retrograde occurs in the sign of Taurus it is worth noting that this is a perfect time for miscommunication in the financial sector Taurus season is all about acquisitions success opportunity and money good fortune so when mercury retrogrades in the sign there may be miscommunications with your bank or some financial sectors as well as changes in currency and alliances financially um, we've already started to see that um, on a world scale there are different alliances regarding currency forming right now and there's of course talk of you know um, electronic currency uh, things like that so we're already seeing those changes but mercury retrograde will actually enhance those things um, I would say it's a perfect time for you personally to check in with your budget and also to protect all that you've worked for so far by looking at the institutions where you house your finances uh, making sure that they're not linked by license um, for a certain amount because if you've got your money spread over two banks and um, you know they're of a certain amount you're only insured for one amount should there ever be an economic fluctuation so watch out for that um, yeah it's something that keeps coming up in the energy of all of my readings since the middle to end of last year I have to keep mentioning it because it keeps coming up okay now as I go and get that card I'll tell you a little bit more about um, what's going on for the eclipse um, there is a heightened time really for um, there to be tidal forces they're quite strong during an eclipse so this can mean that there is um, more uh, potential for an earthquake a seismic event uh, I don't see anything major occurring I mean there is a tower here so if you are on a major fault line or you do have um, issues with earthquakes I would expect a rumble but I wouldn't I, I don't see it being major okay uh, that's that's what I see but um, sometimes I'm not privy to the big stuff but 
I'm just making you aware. I mean, the whole world is on a fault line, so um, some places get more rumbles than others, uh, but just watch out for that. Uh, ultimately, it's not all doom and gloom. This is a very powerful eclipse that will see you reassess your life and what you value and actually attract more of the good stuff, the stuff that you desire. So it opens up a portal of higher frequency for manifestation. Write down all that you desire and feel that energy shift to align yourself uh, with those goals and those dreams to make them become a reality. So it is a very powerful time. Now, your first card is transformation. So something big is changing for you. This is the death card and you've got it twice in your reading. So that means you are really cutting out things that no longer serve you. And I know a lot of people say that, you know, it's such a random but obvious thing to say, you're cutting out things that no longer serve you. But on a more detailed level, this could be you focusing on food substances, things that have made you feel lethargic, bloated, or, you know, make you feel low energy, things that, you know, perhaps with the devil card, you're tempted to have, you know, a little bit of what you fancy is good for you, you know, it, it, balance and moderation in all things. But if you've been, you know, tipping the scales in one direction, eating comfort food, and it's something that perhaps you've been going through uh, an emotional fluctuation at the moment and you're eating your feelings, uh, we all do it from time to time. I feel like you're trying to readdress the balance and get back on track and cut things out that perhaps are spiking insulin. I don't know who needs to hear that, but that's just popped up there uh, for some reason. Uh, but I feel you're actually transforming the way uh, that you uh, do things uh, for yourself on a more healthier level. Also, the transformation card indicates that there's been an element of stagnancy in your life. You may have felt um, with the sun in this position, you may have felt low energy. I mean, to be honest, collectively, I'm feeling this energy shift where everybody's just been feeling a little bit unmotivated or been feeling a little bit like you know what, what's the point? You keep trying and trying and trying and keep getting knocked down and getting back up again. And I feel that things are just becoming a little bit heavier in the energy for everybody. And there's a lot of soul searching going on right now and a lot of thinking outside the box, like, is this my life? Is this what I'm happy with? And what changes do I need to make in order to bring more rewards and more emotional peace into my life? For some of you, it will be to, you know, open yourself up to new courses of learning so that you can enhance uh, your mind, but at the same time, that you can bring more skills sets, uh, you know, to help you elevate in terms of career, or even just to learn more about life, about people, about other cultures. I definitely see that you're like a sponge right now, absorbing a lot of knowledge. Um, they're actually showing me, incidentally, in the water right now, because I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. They're showing me like a word puzzle. A word puzzle. Uh, it's like a word puzzle game type thing. Um, it looks electronic to me, okay? Uh, I don't know what what's happening there, but they're like sp spelling out different words. Right now they're seeing, the, the word they're spelling out to me is square, okay? Square, as in the shape, square. But there's someone making words off that. That's what I see. So it may be that you're listening to this reading and you're literally doing a word game as you're listening to me. Um, I mean, back in the day, and this is how old I am, um, you know, people used to be called squares if they were super intelligent, they had high IQ, but actually that is something of merit, okay? I feel uh, that some people got called squares as a an insult when actually it was people who were trying to derail a very intelligent person or to make them feel bad or uh, embarrassed about their skills. That's not that's not true at all here. I feel actually you're very intelligent, you're very talented, you're very gifted. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's the connection they want me to make with that word, but I feel it's more about you maybe keeping your uh, mental agility by doing word games when you're like, I don't know, skipping off on the on the subway or you just got a bit of downtime. I'm just seeing you using your mind actively. And um, yeah, so I don't know why that's popped up. I'm just going to leave that there because it doesn't really go anywhere with the reading. So, but I have to give you what I'm being given. Okay. Now, some of you may actually uh, pick up a new hobby uh, in order to bring a little bit more excitement, spontaneity, and creativity into your life, especially with that Ace of Wands there. You're going to be very creative and productive over this uh, particular solar eclipse. So some of you may have had a, a course booked already, or there may be something that pops up in your neighborhood that you're like, oh, this is quite exciting. I really want to connect to that. It could be anything from 
from you know life drawing classes to learning how to do uh, you know more computer skills um, could it be coding I don't know what coding is but there's just gonna be a word coding uh, so it could be something that you're already working in but also interested in or it could be a hobby so please take it as it resonates but I feel there's a lot of personal development going on here for you in particular okay with the transformation card it indicates uh, you are uh, shedding old habits or releasing things that have been making you feel a little bit stuck especially since you got a tower there as well now the tower is quite an interesting card because you're liberating yourself from a very stuck situation if you've been feeling like you're going round and round in circles and it just feels like monotonous humdrum life it's the same old thing just a different day I feel you're making some changes in your life to bring a little bit more you know interesting things or a little bit more excitement in to your world and it could be even on a very subtle level uh, I feel like you're trying to open yourself up to new people or new avenues maybe even new experiences where you're being really bold and venturing forward to explore your options um, also with this transformation card I mean, some of you may literally have a new beginning uh, you may suddenly start up your own business especially since you've got the um, the ace of wands as well as the emperor there some of you may be uh, you know really setting up an entrepreneurial ship that's going to be very very successful you may need to sign legal documents with the devil card there some of you may be a little bit worried or a little bit nervous but don't question it uh, you know obviously do your due diligence make sure you uh, investigate all the avenues and all the information you need before you set it up but don't allow fear to block your path you're actually reaching for something really special it's going to be exciting but it's also going to be very successful and rewarding you've got the sun card okay as you can see that figure there is literally reaching for something that they can see or have their eye on and it's going to be very positive and very very rewarding as well something that you've waited a long time to do don't um, don't question your skills if you're in a working environment some of you may actually change status in your working environment you may level up into a promotional uh, position where there's a little bit more money available to you but at the same time I feel it's more about uh, the status I feel it's more about uh, your skill set the responsibilities that you have I feel like you're being spotlighted for success or recognized for what you do by people in a position of power I definitely see you being surprised by a position and with the death card there it indicates it's like it's almost like the death of your old position and you're entering into a new one where you'll sign a contract so some of you may not even leave the job that you're in you're just going to elevate and for some of you you're literally uh, going to receive news on a new project or a new opportunity that's going to be very creative and gives you an op uh, a real um, a real chance to use your brilliance and your vision to create um, more wealth but also feel more emotionally rewarded and free to express yourself especially since your first house is activated during this time now by the time you listen to this reading of course I again reiterate happy birthday to all those beautiful Aries out there who've had a birthday and to those who have yet to come but by the time the solar eclipse rolls around your season uh, has passed and we're into Taurus season just afterwards so some of you may actually have a birthday on the solar eclipse and you are powerful indeed really take stock and take note of the energy you are a force to be reckoned with and you have very powerful manifestation energy during this time so don't let it go to waste pay attention to it um, now you're in command of these changes that you're making even the subtle ones even if it's literally like a change in your route to work these things will alter your reality and your future is what they're showing me every time you decide to make some different path or you take a step in another direction it influences the future that you have ahead of you now we've got some really good karma coming here for you and I'm going to cross these cards uh, by shuffling in a moment just to see what's coming towards you but don't overthink the path because they're showing me that something that you've worked really hard to achieve that you've been battling away to um, start or battling away to finish I definitely get a sense that you reach your goal now though that's whether you are working in the working environment or whether you you've got a project on or you've got a deadline because they're giving me the word deadline right now or even if you're retired and you are uh, you have a goal in mind that you want to reach you will reach that goal don't let fear um, try to restrict you in any shape or form now your first real card here is of course the ace of wands the, this is a major 
major transformation, a big boost of powerful energy to take the initiative in some area of your life, the initiative to make these changes. You are in control. I mean, Aries, you've even got the Emperor energy, which is an Aries card. So you are really at the seat of all these changes and you're in command, okay? So even if you desire to have a promotion and you don't even feel it's on the horizon just yet, Ask for what you wish for and it shall be so. The universe will orchestrate behind the scenes an opportunity to give you that breakthrough. For some of you, if you're looking for love, for example, I do see that there is a little bit of a wait for you or there has been a wait for you, but there is a flirtation coming on in and that's going to be just after the solar eclipse is what they're showing me. I do feel that this is someone that perhaps when you first meet them, um, I feel like you'll be a little bit shy, actually. That's unusual for you, my beautiful Aries. Uh, normally, I mean, of course, everyone perceives you as confident, but I feel underneath there are some doubts. Um, I feel you will build more confidence as you move through the solar eclipse. But when you meet this new person or you flirt with this new person, they're very attractive. And so are you. You have to remember that. Don't put this person on a pedestal. You are equally awesome, okay? So I know sometimes shyness can... Um, make you feel restricted in some way, but allow yourself to be free, express yourself, because this person is going to love every single thing about you. It starts off as a flirtation. Um, I do feel that there is a moment where you and this person, it's kind of like a flirtation. It looks like it's not that it's going somewhere and then it stops. It just feels like it's a slow burn. And then there's going to be a little, a little moment where it's like, is this going anywhere? I mean, I mean what, what, what's happening here? I feel like your person is momentarily busy and I, I feel like they're telling the truth. They're momentarily busy. And I feel there's just a little bit of a pause with this you, you and this new person. I mean, it could be you that's momentarily busy and that this person, this love connection has come in at a difficult moment. But I feel um, around about May time, I feel things start to develop a little bit more, but there may be a little bit of overthinking on your behalf regarding this connection. It's like, is it a thing? Is it not a thing? Am I being ghosted? Is this person like, obviously behavior will always show you. Okay. So actions speak louder than words, but this person, I feel like they will tell you that they're a little bit busy or you're going to tell them, I feel it's more that they're going to say, look, I'm a little bit busy right now. Um, but after this project or after this thing, uh, let's go out, let's do this stuff. They mean it. Okay. So trust them at their word. I'm just going to pull a quick card on that for you. Uh, but ultimately for everybody else, who's not looking for love or not focused on love right now, the ace of wands, uh, presents a very creative power to be daring, to make things happen. And as of course, the new moon is in your sign and you are governed by Mars and this whole solar eclipse is actually governed by Mars and Scorpio. It means you are in command. You have a lot of power during this period. Uh, Knight of Swords. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Eagles. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Yeah. It's like you're talking, talking, then Three of Swords. It's like, I don't feel like it's like a wounding, but it's like, oh, there's a bit of difficulty in the middle. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Are we in this or is this, a, I'm, I'm, I feel like you're just being your wonderful, awesome self. There's the Seven of Wands that I see. It's like, okay, I'm good by myself. I don't need love. Okay. It's like, it seems like a challenge at first, but I feel then it becomes something. Then the clarity happens. I feel like this person is everything you ever dreamed of with that moon energy. Uh, let's go one more and then we'll move on from the love section. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Then this person starts to really give you uh, their time, their effort. I do feel this person is very busy. Knight of Swords is someone who is like... They've got a very fast paced lifestyle. They've got a lot on their plate, a lot on the go. Okay. And at first with that three of swords, it's like, mm. it's not injury or someone hurting you, but I feel there's difficulty with this three of swords. Okay. And the nine of pentacles is like, you're not really, nine of pentacles is like independence. You're awesome all by yourself. You're wonderful. You're having a glow up. Um, you're being conservative as well with the effort that you put into this. So I feel at first it feels like things are starting to lift off in this new love connection. Um, and then I feel there's a bit of a stalling part, okay? But they, they, I feel like they're busy and they really mean it. Uh, and then you sort of take a step back in this. And then as you can see, the seven of wands is like a little bit defensive, but I feel not quite giving up on this, okay? I also feel like you have other suitors 
interested in you, male or female. This is not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. I do feel like there's other people interested in you, but I do feel with this star energy that um, you suddenly see actually this person really means it. Um, and I feel that uh, it's a healthy relationship, this, because this person's actually, they tell you how it is. And I feel you heal the situation and the moon is like, even through difficulty, you'll find a path with this person and that um, you know, th it was just fear. And then suddenly, as you said, as I said, their page of pentacles, they offer, they're making an effort. Okay. This person may be a little bit younger than you, but don't let you, don't let that put you off. I feel this person, um, they will make a full effort, but once they finish this project, whatever it is, anyway, I'm going to move on from that energy. Um, very creative phase, very productive phase. This is a card which reminds you to dream big because anything that you're imagining right now, you're going to be very successful. It's crossed by the emperor energy, which means long-standing success and for the future. This is about you planning for the future. Uh, it's really leadership skills here that are coming to the forefront. If you're already an entrepreneur or already a leader of a team, I feel like you're on fire. You're doing the best work of your life, okay? And I feel like it's going to stand out and it's going to lead to major rewards. Now, a lot of you may have felt recently that you've had a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, okay? You may have had some responsibility within the home space. You've had to uh, do a lot of, I'm just getting it like, you had to do a lot of phone calls, calling things up, you know, making sure things were right. There may have been some miscommunications already, people telling you information that perhaps wasn't true. And then you had to go back and find out from their colleague that actually this was the way and not the way that their colleague said. I feel like you've been pushed and pulled in a lot of directions. So it could be that you've called up about a bill that maybe, um, you know, I feel like the solution has been found or it will be found to a situation. Could even be that your internet isn't working and you've had to call a provider or, you know, something hasn't been working or going your way and you've had to speak to a person in authority within that network. And it's just been a little bit frustrating. It will get solved. I definitely see by the end of May, uh, sorry, the end of April going into May, uh, it, the solution is found. Okay, so whatever that is for you, uh, it doesn't have to be like your internet, but it can be something uh, that is instrumental to uh, you, you know, running your life. Um, I mean, it could also be something really like simple, like, you know, um, some of your TV stations are not working or the, the the package that you bought on the TV isn't what you thought it was or isn't very good. So I'm just getting like something that perhaps you purchased or pay for, like as in a, a payment plan, um, there's some sort of glitch with it and you may need to speak to a manager or something like that, but it will be resolved. Uh, such a random thing to come up there. Um, now, the emperor energy is really about being strict with your time as well and not procrastinating, uh, being on the go and getting a lot done. So I do feel you're going to get that boost of energy from the solar eclipse. It will drain you on the actual day. For about three hours, you're going to feel really like completely shattered, okay? Um, the day itself and maybe the day either side, you're going to feel a little bit exhausted, but moving on from that solar eclipse, you're going to feel an energy like never before where you're just getting stuff done and you're going to feel really proud of all the things that you're achieving during this period. Now we've got the sun in the resistance position, so it's like I got it in the reverse. So some of you have been feeling really a lot of lack of energy already. So you may be looking at your diet and seeing if there's anything there that is draining your energy or even situations that may drain your energy. Some of you may be working in a very toxic environment or even spending time in a toxic environment. It may be something uh, like a communal event uh, that you normally like going to, but perhaps there's one person who isn't so nice, or it could be, you know, there's some toxic energy going on within the family unit or a friendship at the moment. Something's been draining your energy and you're trying to pinpoint it, trying to locate it so that you can be a little bit more strict with your time, a little bit more efficient and, you know, not procrastinate is what I see here. Uh, now, of course, we all procrastinate from time to time, but I feel like you're trying to limit uh, the amount that you do so that you don't waste time because I get a sense that time um, is a big factor for you right now where you want to get something done. They keep giving me the word deadline. So some of you may actually have a project to, to do before a deadline um, or you may actually um, be moving. 
okay, and you're trying to get all your stuff packed into boxes before you move, and you're also trying to work and trying to do everything, pay bills, look after children, and it just seems like a big old challenge. Uh, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and it feels like a challenge, you will be successful at it, okay? There are going to be moments of disruption. There are going to be moments where it just feels like you're doing a lot of heavy lifting in life, but the rewards are going to be worth it, okay? Now, if you've been feeling a little bit low energy, a little bit unmotivated, or a lack of vitality, uh, you will feel the shift that will be much more positive on the other side of the eclipse. But whatever it is with the Sun card, it really indicates a period of major growth. Um, so you may be learning some more lessons, especially with that hangman energy. I mean, a lot of signs have been getting this major energy of life just feeling like it's still a little bit upside down, that things haven't truly gone back to usual, and you may be still trying to find your way in the world towards some sort of norm. There may be some aspects of your life that are completely back to normal and other aspects where you're like, eh, not so much. So I feel like you're trying to find your way and trying to find balance in life right now. It will come to some sort of harmony. I want you to be aware of that. But I actually see a major decision that needs to be made for you. I actually see that you have uh, something that you need to decide or you're wrestling with something right now. And um, you're trying to tap into your intuition to find a way forward. Uh, I feel that you will identify a solution. The answers you seek will come to you and you'll be able to make adjustments and move forward um, on or just after the solar eclipse is what they're showing me. Also, with the Seven of Wands and the Hangman energy with the Illumination card, they're, indica they're indicating here that there may be someone who has been trying to hold you back or has trying tried to derail your path in some way or has just not supported your dreams. I'm getting a sense, I mean, with the Seven of Wands, it can represent uh, opposition or someone who's super defensive and shuts down whenever you are, like, near them. I feel like... Uh, I don't like to be negative, but if the energy is coming up, I'm going to mention it. I feel like this person, sometimes they like to play the victim or um, I feel in some way they're draining your energy because I feel they see what you're capable of and they feel like either they'll lose you uh, by you being successful, you'll be out of their reach in some way, or it just feels like they feel like they're... It's almost like you highlight their inadequacies in some way. So it could be someone you work with if it's a toxic environment. I feel like they are looking at you as big competition. And it's again, this came up briefly in the Capricorn reading, not to this full extent. I don't feel like this person wishes you unwell, but I feel when things go wrong for you or get delayed, they kind of relish in it. Okay, so it's not that they wish you unwell, but when things don't go well, they, they're kind of happy because it means you stay put or you stay on their level. Okay, so I don't know. Let me just pull a card on that. I don't, I don't see this being a friend. I don't see this being a family member. So thank you so much. I mean, it could be a member of your community. It could be your neighbor. Two of Cups. Yeah, it is someone close to you, though. Two of Cups. I mean, it could be, it could be a partner. I mean, that's... I mean, i got to be honest, we're all human. There are lots of aspects to ourselves and some of them are not healthy. Some people, you know, are in toxic relationships. Uh, you may be in a loving relationship and still have fear that, you know, if your partner is very successful and if they have to travel for work, for example, you know, there may be those initial fears of how can we make this work or what ifs, um, what if it doesn't work, all of those things. It doesn't mean that they want something bad or negative for you, it can mean that, you know, they're just afraid of losing you because they love you so much. But because we got the Two of Cups here, it indicates someone who, um, I mean, the Two of Cups doesn't always have to represent a union. It can be a friendship. But I, I just, I can't see it being like a close friendship is what I see. And the energy doesn't lend itself. The Hermit, this person, they want... Yeah, they're a little bit older, okay? Um, and the Four of Pentacles indicates they want to hold on. It's like they don't want to lose you in some way. I mean, I honestly don't see it being a parent-type figure either, okay? So, or a guardian. I mean, yeah. 
I don't know who this could be. I feel like you perhaps know who this person is. I mean, it could literally be a boss that's like, they're afraid that you will try and take their position or um, it's almost like they want to hold you where you are and not let you move. This is like an immovable force. Okay, safe and secure, safe and secure if you're around. That's, yeah. So I don't know who, what this message is. It's obviously for someone. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, they're Incidentally, they're actually showing me a safe in the water. So maybe this is a message. Um, let me see these three cards again. Okay. Um, if there is an age difference between you and your person in a relationship, it is a secure relationship. I want you to be aware of that. No matter what anybody says, I, I'm not sure if anyone needs to hear that message, but that's coming out. Um, so I will mention that there, but they're showing me a literal safe in the water. So a safe can represent security. Of course, you feeling secure or being in a secure position, especially economically. I feel like you're protecting because safes protect things. So I feel like you're protecting everything that you've worked for. And an emperor, of course, is a protector. Um, but it may, may mean that you're keeping something under wraps or maybe it's to keep safe any ideas, especially if it's like a toxic environment you work in or you're in connected to someone who sometimes doesn't relish in your successes. So I would keep things under wrap or keep it to yourself. Um, could also mean that you are keep, you're actually buying a safe to house important documents or um, acquisitions, things like that. So please take it as it resonates. A safe is normally a very positive kind of insurance that you're on the right path and that you are secure in your decisions. So I definitely see it being a positive. Um, some of you may even be thinking about upgrading your security, whether that's electronically on your laptop or your computer or maybe in your home space. Some of you may have bought like a home system security or even, as I said, just purchase a safe. So I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. So I'm leaving it like that. We got the hangman in this position. So again, some of you may be feeling like the world is a little bit upside down. Uh, you may feel a little bit limbo about something that you've been expecting or waiting for. It will come towards you. A lot of you um, will be gaining um, insight that the sacrifices you've made for something that you desire um, will be worth it. They want me to give you that. It will be worth it. Also, the hangman, as well as the two death cards, really indicate that there is an old way of doing something that is coming to an end. And that could be a habit that you've got, or it could be that you're asserting your boundaries in certain circumstances and you're not allowing certain behavior in your life. And therefore, you're really changing the energy within you, which will filter out and teach other people how to respect you or how you like to be dealt with or respected. So I definitely see an assertion here of, it's like you're asserting boundaries, healthier boundaries, and you know, standing your ground on something too. Now, the hangman tends to mean with the emperor, and don't shoot the messenger, my beautiful Aries, if you've been feeling that life has got a little bit serious, and, and like energetically, I felt collectively, everybody's been feeling a little bit serious, and there's been a little bit, you know, of a lack of happiness or a lack of fun and spontaneity, I feel like you are going to change aspects in order to bring a little bit more of that into your life. So they're indicating relax, breathe. Um, don't be too serious is what I'm getting from this reading. So again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just seeing uh, this energy of being quite serious um, and that balance in moderation is important. Now, the seven of wands is an interesting one because it indicates that perhaps you've had a lack of self-confidence with that sun card, a lack of self-confidence recently. You will step into your power, okay? Uh, if, for example, you're going for a job interview or you're going for an opportunity, um, have confidence in your wonderful self because you're above the competition. Persevere. I don't see you conforming to anyone else's expectations, but I also see that you're not giving up on something. You're trusting that you can make things happen. This is a card of being successful and forging away, even when there are restrictions or boundaries um, or blockages in your path. I feel like you're forging away and you're staying true to your path. You're not giving up on something. 
Now also the seven of wands indicates some of you may be feeling a little bit stressed recently about something you're going to try and manage your stress levels, um, which I would definitely say uh, identifying that. Well, what they're giving me is sometimes we all, not just you, my beautiful Aries, we all need to identify triggers. And when we notice those triggers, it's important to take a step back and see why we're being triggered in a situation rather than get annoyed or rather than get defensive about something. Sometimes we need to identify the root cause because there is a lesson in something that keeps returning. So if you've been feeling a little bit snappy recently, I mean, energetically, as we go through the solar eclipse, um, people's energy does change to be a little bit more aggressive or angry or frustrated. So it is important to, um, you know, streamline your energy, your excess energy into something a little bit more healthy, like going to the gym or going out for a run or even a walk in the past, uh, the park, just to ground yourself. Um, I'm getting one more thing with that seven of wands. One moment, please. I feel like you're not compromising something that is important to you, okay? Um, you're standing your ground on something. Yeah, I feel like something you've been worried about or feeling you want to push like way over there that you don't want to deal with, you will deal with it before the, uh, the solar eclipse, just before, and you'll see that it was nothing to worry about, okay? So whatever it is you're trying to push to the side, uh, it's nothing to worry about. That's what they're giving me here. Now, your outcome, you've got a tower. Now, it says here revelation. So it can, with the sun card, indicate sudden epiphanies, realizations about a situation. So if, for example, you've been feeling excess, uh, you know, fatigue, and you go and to your local practitioner and you're asking your GP, um, you know, I feel exhausted all the time, they may identify like you have a deficiency in a certain vitamin. Okay, so it could be a revelation or you identify the cause of feeling the way you've been feeling recently. Um, also, the tower represents an opportunity to liberate yourself from a situation that you've been feeling, you've been going round and round and round in circles in. If you've been feeling things are chaotic, you've got the sun, which ends up being your outcome energy. Things turn to a much more positive conclusion, but the tower often suggests you should take a leap of faith. Okay, because if you always do what you always do, you're always going to get what you always got. And sometimes we can get complacent in our every day. We can get up in the morning, we can go, oh, you know, I got to go to work. You know, you have your shower, you go to work, see the same old faces and think, yeah, that's okay. And that's nice. Okay, you can get paid, um, you're paying your bills, it just feels good. But when things start to feel like they're stifling you, or you feel like you've hit a glass ceiling in some area of your life, and there's no more room for maneuver, it's the universe indicating there needs to be change. You need to break out of that repetitive cycle. So with the, um, the devil card here as well, and introspection, I mean, this is you going through a very deep period of self-reflection. And because you're first house is activated, you're going through, you know, the deep thinker mode. So a lot of you are identifying things that are negative in your world in order to release them, to become unstuck, to make space for something healthier to enter into your life. Some of you may revamp your home space or your sense of identity uh, through your your clothes, you may express yourself in a different way or change your hair. Um, some of you may also um, be looking at how far you've come, where you are now and where you want to go and where life is taking you. You're going to make any life changes that are necessary during this period. And I feel you're in command of these changes. You may take a leap of faith um, and you're going to use your knowledge in order to do it. Now, we do have the hermit energy there. So some of you are going to feel a little bit more withdrawn than usual. You're going to take a real step back, especially with the hangman. There's a lot of cards here that says stop, pay attention, relax, trust your intuition. Some of you are definitely reflecting on your true life's purpose. And you may have felt that some avenues that you've taken have made you feel a little bit stuck and a little bit restless, but you are on the right path and you're going to slightly tweak your plan. You're not gonna change it. I feel like you're gonna slightly tweak your plan um, so that it becomes much more manageable and much easier, 
okay? Um, now, also with the Hermit energy, some of you may have a desire to go solo in your life. Some of you may travel on a spiritual retreat, or you may actually set up your own business, or there's something here that you feel you have to do alone. And you may be a bit worried about it, but I feel like you've got this, okay? Whatever this is. Now, of course, we got the shadow self right there. So as you go through this deep period of self-reflection because of your first house, you may identify areas of yourself that perhaps you don't like so much. Okay, we've all got a side to ourselves that we're perhaps not proud of. You know, sometimes there's excess um, anger, frustration, um, impatience. You know, you may be looking at aspects of yourself that perhaps I feel you need to forgive yourself for because we're all human. Uh, so if, for example, you know, you got annoyed about something that really doesn't matter, but it really annoyed you in that moment, and now you're feeling a little bit of remorse or regret about something. Uh, I mean, it could be something really simple, like the train left from the other platform, but, and I don't know why this is coming up, the train left from the other platform, but you ask someone where the train was leaving from, and they said this platform, but actually it was the other platform. So you're annoyed, and maybe you had to go, go at that person, and now maybe you feel bad. You're like, okay, I shouldn't have shouted. It was annoying, and they were in the wrong, but I feel bad that I shouted, or I feel bad that I got annoyed. And, you know, you have that, like, little bit, because you have empathy, you, you feel a little bit remorse later on. They want you to be aware that you're only human, and these frustrations and these emotions are here for a reason. We identify them, and we forgive ourselves for those moments. Now, there's going to be a lot of you out there that's like, Baba, I haven't done anything like that. And I'm just picking up on someone's energy that feels a little bit like they challenged the situation, got really annoyed about it, and maybe said some things that perhaps they're not proud of. It's okay. And again, that's not going to resonate with everyone. But for some reason, I'm being guided to give you that. So I'll leave that there. Now, the devil card... I always say this, it's not an evil card. It's actually to identify areas of your life where you feel stuck. And when you've got the tower there, it's like it's time to break out of being stuck in a rut. So if you feel like some sort of dissatisfaction is haunting your life right now, I feel like you're really checking in with yourself and looking at the exchange of life and asking yourself, where can I bring in more excitement? Can I pick up a new hobby? Can I integrate myself with new people? Can I open myself up to new ex uh, uh, adventures or experiences that will help me feel more grounded and bring more fun into my life, more spontaneity. So I definitely see, because it keeps coming up, someone's got, is battling with shyness at the moment. I definitely see you stepping into more confidence, uh, especially in love. I see confidence in love for you. Um, remember, there is someone out there who is looking for your special something, something. So vibe at that frequency. We're all unique. We've all come to this lifetime with different things that, you know, set us apart from everybody else. Embrace them. You know, your superpower is you are you and you can't be anybody else. So don't be looking at all these like, you know, situations where you're like, oh, you know, I don't have this or I don't have that. You are you. That is your superpower. So have confidence in your wonderful self and move forward because I see you accomplishing great things. I also see success coming to you in all areas of your life, including love. So if that is something that's on your mind, uh, it's definitely there for the taking for you. Now, again, we've got this two of swords. So there is stagnancy. Okay. And for you being a fire element, whenever anything, you know, tries to dampen your energy, you know, there's steam. So it's like you need to let off steam. So I just get this energy of um, feeling really frustrated and having to make a decision about something, but really feeling a bit uncertain about the way forward. It's like stalemate, okay? Um, whenever I see energy that is really stuck in a reading, you normally get the devil card, the two of swords, the tower, and sometimes the Wheel of Fortune, uh, which indicates that destiny intervenes to bring you a better outcome. But the Two of Swords indicates trust your intuition. This figure is blindfolded. She is using her heightened emotions. Her defenses are up because she's about to experience something new or she's making changes that are new. She's about to discover new lands and be really bold, but she's uncertain about the path. So whether you're opening yourself up to a new job, 
maybe you're applying for new work or whether you've been out of work for a while and you're re-entering the working environment or even if you've been out of a love relationship for a while and you're like I don't even know how to date anymore um, whatever it is that you're feeling uncertain about I feel you're going to find a solution the Justice card indicates some really good karma is coming your way and you will make adjustments. They're giving me a sense that you will take to it like a duck to water, whatever this is, okay? So get out there and shine your wonderful light because at the moment they're giving me a sense that there is a wonderful fiery Aries out there who is dulling their shine. And um, either you've experienced something that has really upset you, um, left you feeling... Um, let down or disappointed in some way and it's really chipped away at your spirit or your confidence you will rise in strength again and you will um moving forward you will accomplish whatever you have in sight your vision now the justice card also indicates truth being revealed okay um i feel like a truth comes out here, especially with the sun. This indicates um, maybe something that you've been waiting to hear for a while. Maybe you feel someone's been holding back, but you knew that they were holding back. I feel like when the time is right, this person, the universe, all will be revealed. Okay. And for some of you, if it's a negative truth, I see you cutting that situation out. Not. I feel this, the resolution is to take a step back. Okay, um, it could be that you find out from a toxic environment that your uh, co-worker has tried to take credit for your work. It could also be that um, someone in your friendship circle has been keeping something from you and you knew all along really is what I see here, uh, but the, the truth will out. That's what I'm getting here as well. Now, on a different level, I'm getting a lot of um, contracts, a lot of paperwork. So I do feel like you're going to be busy, busy, busy over this period, but in a really good way. And I feel there's, it's like a boomerang. I get this sense of karma, good karma, karma coming back to you. Uh, uh, and if some of you are going through a legal situation right now, I feel that you may have to sign a lot of things. Make sure you understand and investigate all the jargon that goes with that contract because sometimes they've got like legal jargon that's like I the bearer of this certify that and you're like oh my gosh you've just said about 10 sentences that really said nothing in particular but could we really identify what this whole sentence is about so just um look at that keep an eye on that um Now, I'm getting something else with this card. I'm trying to identify it. I'm going to pull a card on it for you. One moment, please. Because they're indicating the effort that you put in, you may have felt that you've not been getting something out of the situation for a while. But now, things are shifting in your favor. So I feel uh, it's a win-win situation for you. It's like cause and effect. What you put in, you'll get out. Yeah, three of swords, difficulty. Interesting that the same cards are popping out for you. Two of wands, three of cups it will lead to success so the three three of swords there i mean you've got double three either side um i'm, I'm genuinely surprised it's not a three of wands there but it's a two so uh, it really indicates you're still on the right path you are making progress even though you know or have felt it's been difficult or that you've gone through uh, some difficulties um the two of wands indicates that um right now it's almost like you may feel like there's no change or there's no movement, but actually there is more progress than you realize. And success is literally just around the corner. Three of Cups, good news coming your way. Something to celebrate is coming on in for you. Also, I'm getting a sense with the Three of Swords that some of you may have gone through a, a very heartbreaking or difficult situation. And, you know... I know it's such a cliche, but they're literally giving me time is a healer. And again, I know that is a cliched sentence. Um, and back in the day when I went through, I mean, we've just lost someone as well, really dear to us. And it was such a shock. And, you know, even that sentence, time is a healer. I'm like, what? Really? Come on. But um, I do get a sense here that there is a more positive corner being taken for you um, 
allow your body to heal of course I mean some of you may have literally gone through a procedure as well and you're healing give yourself the space and time to take it easy take it slower um, and the three cups indicates you'll be back to your vitality in no time going out with friends and enjoying your wonderful self uh, they'll give me a sense of relief okay three cups can be relief so I definitely feel there's that there um, now what else is that energy sometimes I can't quite identify the energy so I will move on if I can't get it I'll always be honest and say there's something else but I can't quite grasp it so let me just see yeah I'm just getting that some of you may have found it very very difficult and you haven't been getting out there and having fun um, there's more to it but I can't identify it so I will move on because I can't identify it um, sometimes the energy is a little bit harder and I can't see it um, oh okay I've already done these cards but they asked me to pick them up again and as soon as I did they showed me teeth teeth so some of you may have been having issues with your teeth or you may have to um, go to a dentist because they're sensitive or something there's just something about teeth so watch out for that um, you, you may be already going through that uh, a solution will be found thank goodness because you know there's nothing worse than teeth pain um, so um, yeah a solution will be found uh, now finally we got the death card so again something is ending for you it's, it's really interesting you start with the death card you end with the death card major change things big things are ending in your life I feel like big negative things are ending in your life and there's a lot more positivity that you're welcoming in uh, but with this death card I'm actually going to pull a card for you uh, thanks so much Spirit guys going angels can you please guide um, so for some of you financially I'm just going to look at this chart for you because I haven't really mentioned finances I feel like you're protecting all that you've worked really hard for um, I feel like you're inspired you've got new ideas for new endeavors um, and you've got the energy or you will have the energy to move forward with it also I feel like you may be revamping your finances restructuring them um, I do feel like there's a promotion available to you or I feel that some of you may even set up a second stream of income to bring in more finances ace of swords new ideas breakthroughs uh, the law of karma and there's your wheel of fortune uh, it always happens my readings they tend to be towers two of swords devil card wheel of fortune there's n it's rare to get a reading that a wheel of fortune doesn't show up with those cards it means that destiny is in control to some degree and bringing you a brighter future to look forward to ace of swords is like major breakthrough and you can see the crown there that represents the crown chakra so award-winning ideas pay close attention to your ideas but this is also about feeling responsible and making achievements in your life gaining clarity and truth but also if someone has been difficult I do feel like they take accountability for their actions just after the solar eclipse as well but the will of fortune good luck is on your side you're literally leaving a phase that has been very very difficult very frustrating and um, very there's been some struggle but I feel that there is better luck on the other side of the solar eclipse for you um, there is uh, destiny meeting synchronicity so lots of um, synchronistic numbers they're actually showing me 1919 19 for you right now thank you so much I'm truly grateful wow I did not know that 1919 19 apparently means closure to difficult situations that's quite literally apparently what that means I'm gonna have to look that up um, they're showing me a turning point something incredible is on its way for you have confidence the new beginning is near is what they're also giving me okay so this card tends to represent the cycle of life you know the ups and downs of life we all go through them sometimes we're up sometimes we're down you may have been in a period of chaos or feeling that you've been going through a bit of a lull where nothing is happening but you're going to be on the up and the ace of swords indicates major breakthrough there this is the law of attraction the law of karma a powerful transformation um, is available to you during this 
period. Things are happening for you um, after the solar eclipse with great velocity. You can expect quick results and to charge forward with confidence. You're going to get some excellent information as well. Some really great news that will help you change your circumstances immeasurably. Now we do have, um, oh my gosh. Hang on a minute. Now I can't remember because I'm actually um, scrying at the same time as doing your reading. I'm sure it was your reading, but it may have been the Capricorn reading. I'm gonna have to look back on the video now because I genuinely cannot remember because I'm, I'm when I'm channeling, I can't remember everything. A different part of my brain is obviously access because sometimes I can't even remember like what I did yesterday after a period of channeling. Um, but I'm sure I just get, had a message of square, right? And it being about, you know, people of intelligence. Yeah, they gave me the word puzzle. I've just noticed. I mean, obviously I can't prove it because it was down there, but and I, I just, it says square. Okay, like I can't prove it because obviously I shuffle the cards and I just put them to the side. I don't look at the cards until I touch them. I'm always scrying to see what energies I can see scrying. But of course, because you can't see my eyes and you know, I wouldn't believe me if, if I were you. Uh, I, I'm a Scorpio. I'm always like, okay, prove it. Let me see it. But anyway, you'll have to take my word for that. I genuinely did not realize that word said square. And I think square came up in your reading. And if it wasn't your reading, it's in a Capricorn reading. So if it was in Capricorn reading, it may mean you have placements in Capricorn. But anyway, let's move on from that. It says here, creates restrictions and obstacles, pressure, power struggles, demands, motivates, confrontation and resistance. Okay, so we already picked up on that, that energy in the reading for you already. And we've got full moon here as well. Okay, and blessings, blossoming, celebration, release what's no longer serving you, recharge your energy, inner work, let go of the past and manifestation. I mean, it's all there. It was all there in the reading. It was all there literally in those two cards. You know what? Now I wish I'd looked at these two cards right at the beginning because maybe I would have saved you some time and I would have just read these two cards and says, this is the energy. Okay, it would have been a much more concise reading, but there we are. Um, I'm just going to get your final cards. There's obviously a reason why square is relevant, but let me just go and get some final cards for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide... My beautiful Aries, what do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay, they want that one. They're actually showing me um, a star with number 11 in it. A star with number 11 in it. So that may mean something to you. I mean, a star is about success. It's about being in the spotlight. It may be on the 11th that you will, I mean, probably have to be at the 11th of May now because we've passed the 11th of April. Maybe at 11 a.m. you see something that is a dream come true. Um, maybe a door number that has a star on it. So please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how this, I mean, I know that's a frame, but my guide literally said another square. <laughs> my guides are so funny. Another square. Um, anyway, I wish you could hear this particular guide. They've got the most delightful voice. Anyway, let's move on. One more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you. Uh, so, um, we've got cutlery, which is about using the tools that you have at your disposal right now. And it says business tools, needing more money, living well, food related, sole provider and more work. OK, so this is also about, you know, dissecting what um, you've already gone through and what you are doing right now and what you want to do for the future. We also have the frame also known as another square. Um, so, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Uh, sorry, my guy just put their hand on my shoulder. Um, steady income, organizing, accomplishments, art and design, home oriented and self-employed. Okay, so that did come up in the reading there. Uh, if you're having a second stream of income or you've got fingers in many, many pies, I actually see you being very successful and things being very lucrative. Some of you may even get a gift of a frame with a picture in it or or a fancy frame for a picture uh, is what they're seeing. They're showing me there as well. Or if you're an artist, I see you framing your work and actually putting it in a gallery. So you may be accepted by a gallery there if you are an artist um, or you may have a showing. 
um, an outing of your work. Now we've also got butterfly, sudden change, that goes along with your tower there, um, frivolous spending, short-term loans, art, movement, temporary jobs, and fun work. You're blossoming, you're transforming. It's no accident that you've got a lot of butterflies in your reading in itself, especially on the death cards there for major change and spreading your wings. And finally, we got Clover. So good luck. That connects to the Wheel of Fortune. It says here, lucky break, gamble, good fortune, chance, finances, outdoors, risky business, and surprises. But these are positive surprises. So um, enjoy those. And I'm just going to get a ruin. Oh, we only get one this time. Uh, one ruin for you. And we've got, this has got to, because they're showing me an image of a horse right now. So this has got to be the horse ruin. Yes, it is the horse ruin. Um, this is about to make progress. Okay, this is about movement forward, things getting a little bit more faster. There are being changes, but they're electric. I feel um, some of you may even think about going on a long journey. Um, but I feel divine timing shows you that you are making progress and there's a lot of positive things to look forward to, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Uh, thank you so much, my beautiful Aries, and love and light.